Hello. Um, so if we want to uh, share this compound with someone or use it in another scene or create your own kind of library of um, tools, what you can do is, is publish, um, publish them. So to do that, uh, I'm just right clicking on this or I can also hit Command P. Um, and it will um, put it in this folder here, users, blah, 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 Autodesk Compound. If this folder doesn't exist, it will create it for you, okay? And then you can just give it a name. I just like to put my initials in there so I know it's not one of the default ones. Do that, and I will also publish the sign deformer. And now, if I go to that folder, which is um, user, users, your username, Autodesk, Bifron, Compounds, and like I said, if it wasn't there, once you publish a compound, it will, it will create it. So now in that folder, I see uh, the ones I just made, simple strand and row of points, okay? Um, Another thing to note is uh, if you want to install uh, groups of compounds created by other artists, or for example, this thing Rebel Pack here, uh, which is created by the Bifrost team, you just drag it into this folder. All right. Um, and then, so if you install this one's really awesome, M MJ. Uh, CG, which I'll put in our uh, class folder. If you go, if you install that and restart Maya and then go to Window, uh, Bifrost Browser, there's all this amazing stuff in here that you can uh, play with, um, which is, yeah, amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, and actually, this artist is kind enough to even... Um, you can even open these things in um, in other scenes. See, in example scenes, um, which is which is fantastic. Um, curvature. Um, yeah. All right. So that's how you do that.